Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Innovation Podcast, your source for all things innovation. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have John Nance on the line, and he's President and Chief Investment Officer over at DealBox. John, welcome to the show. Hey, Adam. Pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me today. Oh, man. So excited to get into this uh, announcement and this launch. So DealBox launches its digital securities investment platform. Um, let's just jump right in. Tell us more about what you're doing over at DealBox, please. Yeah, we'd love to, Adam. Uh, thanks for the great question there and for bringing up the platform launch. So just as a brief overview to share with you and uh, your listeners here today, uh, over at DealBox, we've been running the business for just about four years now in the investment packaging space. And prior to DealBox's current uh, inception, we've actually been running our advisory services on the back end of the parent company of DealBox for about 16 years now. And so our analyst team has uh, done about 480 private placement packaging uh, deals over the last 16 and a half years or so. And so really what we've done in the last four is optimize those processes, build some better procedures into them, and we've been able to work with uh, upwards of 40 businesses in DealBox's current form over the last 40, 50 months or so. And what we've done now is decide to take all of these uh, packaging processes and, and the businesses that we work with as clients and actually launch an online invest investment platform of the future, and that is a digital securities-enabled investment platform. So it's kind of fun to think about because if you look out and you're familiar with the online investment platform space, you'll see the likes of, uh, you know, the, the Kickstarters, the Angel Lists, mm -hmm. the Our Crowds. They, they've become household names as, you know, um, the average investor starts to look out and diligence early stage deal flow. And so what we've done is kind of take all the best components of what's already available in the funding platform space and weave in blockchain-based issuance mechanisms for those digital securities, be it equity or debt, for the offerings that are listed on that platform. Man, first off, um, congratulations, first off, on pulling that off and launching your own platform. Like, that's not an easy task. Oh, no, and I appreciate that. Thank you very much. You know, it's been about four years of diligence, and, uh, you know, one of the most exciting things has been diligencing the rest of our service providers in our ecosystem. Mm -hmm. um, over the years, you know, there's been a lot of regulatory uncertainty and infrastructure construction that's needed to occur to really be able to provide these types of services, especially inside of an online investment platform. And so we're just really thrilled that in the last five or six months, we've gotten final confirmations uh, from the regulators, from all the necessary groups and service providers to really enable that technology and have the certainty that we're doing things in a compliant manner and really just, uh, you know, serving as best we can on the behalf of our, of our registered users, our potential investor bases, as well as our founders and clients. Yeah, man, that's, that's absolutely amazing. Um, bravo. Um, let's get a little bit further into uh, potential users and, and user base. So um, what are the right types of uh, investors that are typically a good fit for DealBox or the platform overall um, historically? That is a fantastic question, Adam. Thank you for asking that. So um, just a little bit of, by way of background on myself, I spent the first eight years of my professional career as a wealth advisor, financial advisor, portfolio manager. And so, you know, my ability to communicate asset allocation and portfolio construction um, at very detailed um, terms and condense it into a way that's easily understandable for an average investor is, is really what I spend most of my time here at DealBox doing is uh, educating investors on on what proper portfolio construction should look like, how you go about thinking about diligencing early stage investment opportunities, and how you really think about creating wealth as opposed to just preserving it. So as far as you know, what an uh, ideal investor would be for the platform, generally we're looking for people that have kind of like you know maybe a 25-year horizon remaining until retirement, uh, maybe 15, 25 years. So our average investor base is somewhere between the ages of maybe 25 and 55. They're not generally retirees because some of this stuff is a little bit more on the risky side when you're dealing with early stage deal flow. Um, and then usually, you know, we want to encourage those investors to look outside their general allocations in stocks and bonds and insurance policies and real estate and 
there is they're investing in and take a really hard look at what they should be doing from a portfolio construction standpoint to get participation in these kind of binary type approaches. And that's why if you visit the Dealbox marketplace, you will see um, our kind of tagline of democratizing venture capital. And essentially what we mean by that is allowing, uh, you know, your everyday investor to go on to a marketplace, have absolutely institutional grade diligence <clears throat> for the products and the and the businesses that they're considering investing into, and then actually being able to participate in the earliest stages of growth and, and early valuations of those companies. This is generally how, when you speak with uh, successful investors or wealthy individuals, you'll notice that the bulk of their wealth creation has been done by investing in early businesses, starting early businesses themselves, and growing those things. So my job is really to communicate to the investors of the world that there is a spot in your portfolio for early stage venture capital-like investment opportunities, but it's very hard to find those opportunities. It's very hard to make the decision about, you know, whether or not this is a good a business to be investing into, how do I get access to it? And so rather than creating a walled garden approach like you see kind of like with the likes of the Silicon Valley Venture Funds, we're enabling people to participate in these early stage deals um, at a much broader distribution range, if you will. Let's talk a little bit more about the uh, about the marketplace itself and deal flow. So, um, how does like what what kind of um, what kind of numbers are we talking about in terms of deals? Like, so if somebody registers for the platform and they're looking and they're considering investing, um, give us a feel for the breadth of, of just the marketplace in general. And I know that can fluctuate, but just to give some idea for the people listening. That's fantastic, Adam. Thanks for that question. So in terms of the deal flow, right now um, when we launched the platform in a couple of weeks here before the end of June, what you'll see is about 15 projects that are ready to be invested in as soon as the platform launches. Uh, the back end is somewhere around probably 30 projects by uh, the second or third quarter rounds, uh, rounds up here. But essentially, you know, the reason we're not looking at a large amount of deals is because we work uh, a very hands-on with our clients here. Um, when, it, when one of our clients engages to be a part of the platform, we're actually spending six to eight weeks with them and our analyst team going through a very robust diligence process. Mm -hmm. So as opposed to your typical application. So you're not just listing it. Like some of them just list it. So just to be clear for everybody listening, like some of them you just fill out a plan. Like they may have thousands, but they're not really, I mean, they're looking at not, they're not spending six to eight weeks, put it that way. Like you're doing the actual diligence on due diligence on the thing. Yeah, and you na you nailed it, Adam, and that's a really good point for your listeners as well, is, is usually in these marketplaces, you know, those businesses are designed to, to aggregate as many listings and raise as much capital as possible. We're really looking to get, um, you know, more high-quality confidence around the projects that we bring to the platform. Is everyone going to work out? Of course not. But we believe that because of that six- to eight-week process, we spend really combing through everything, not six to eight days. We have the ability to really bring some high-quality projects and, and, and uh, enable the investors to have a little bit more confidence uh, when they're browsing the deal box marketplace around the businesses that are on there, right? And then again, you know, it's much more difficult to look across 100 businesses than it is 15. And so we want to keep the, you know, amount of deals on the platform relatively small. I don't know that we'll ever go up more than, say, like 25 at a time. In terms of the um, in terms of the businesses themselves that are maybe thinking about you know they're listening to this right now and they're like you know they've been looking at going the VC route and they're like ah oh, they haven't really wanted to just list and they're like you know they um, wh what's the right way for them to approach um, deal box and what types of businesses are you looking for to list on the platform? I'm, I'm so glad you asked that. Yeah, so. You know, when we engage with our clients, one of the pieces of education we really like to share with the founders and the management team of those startup businesses is how to properly forecast, budget, and set proper expectations and timelines for capital formation, all the way from seed through, you know, maybe a Series C up to a public offering itself. And so what we spend a lot of time doing, Adam, is – um, building affiliate relationships and strategic partnerships with people like broker-dealers, investment banks, investor relations firms, 
these types of um, other consultants or service providers that will be able to kind of plug into DealBox and then work in tandem with DealBox and its clients to help further that capital formation process. So when you're thinking about raising capital as an entrepreneur, oftentimes, you know, you're kind of just thinking about, like you mentioned, listing on a platform or um, maybe combing through PitchBook and finding out some funds that you think might fit your guys' particular industry or niche that you're working on or product or service. But at the end of the day, it's all about reach and, and distribution and as many options as you can get. We encourage our clients to engage with as many capital formation advisors as possible to really enhance their, their ability to raise capital, better understand the budgeting that's needed to do so, and, and set those proper expectations. So the other thing about DealBox that you'll notice is just about every single one of our clients doesn't work with DealBox alone. They're working in tandem with a broker dealer, with an investor relations firm, um, with some other type of capital formation advisor so that we can really put some power behind their offering. That's awesome. So, John, if somebody's listening to this and they want more information on DealBox, um, what's the best way for them to connect with you and your team? That's great, Adam. Yeah, you guys, uh, everybody that's listening, I appreciate your guys' time. If you want to learn more about DealBox, you can go visit the marketplace today. That's dlbx.io, dlbx.io. That platform is about two weeks away from removing its beta stages and being fully functional, but if you sign up and subscribe to our newsletter through the existing platform today, we'll be sure to keep you apprised of all those updates and uh, invite you to the formal launch of the platform coming up in a couple weeks here. Fantastic. Well, John, really appreciate you coming on the show today and uh, sharing more about your background and all the great work that you're doing over at DealBox. And to the listeners, as always, thanks for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes Store. And if you're watching this on our, in our Mission Matters Innovation Podcast um, YouTube channel, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us a uh, comment in the video. Let us know what kind of projects and things that you're working on. And John, thanks again for coming on the show. Adam, it was my pleasure. Thanks again.